there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to do another in the 40 Days of Prayer series. I'll talk a little bit about what that means in just a moment. But this is the page I'll be creating in 2 Chronicles. And the verse is, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And this verse I thought was a good one to illustrate the calling together to pray. In the 40 days of prayer and fasting, my church and our whole community, we've invited other churches to do this, are praying for 40 days together. And different churches are doing different things with it, but we're all following the same scriptures and the same prayer prompts each day. If you'd like to join in, and this is the first time you're hearing about it, you can take a free class. I call it a class, but it, there's not a huge amount of teaching in it other than some of these videos like this one are already completed. So these were all done for illustrations that I did for each of the 40 days last year. And this year my church is doing some things to build on those illustrations. So I had a drawing with the word prayer or the word pray in my sketchbook that had all these little tiny people. And I thought I'd show you how I drew the little tiny people. I first started by just making the word pray. You could print it out of your computer and then trace it into your Bible. I just took six lines and made squares and then drew one of the letters in each one of the squares. So that was my way of creating that word pray. But each one of the little people is literally, <laughs> it's just a circle for the head, a triangle for the shoulders and then down to the torso and then little stick legs on it. They're super tiny. And I'm using a 0.2 micron pen because I want these pe people to still be really tiny. I don't want a big fat pen, so I'm using a thin one. And for this, the whole idea was to make the people walking toward the words or, or toward the letters. They're gathering and they're coming together to form prayer. And that was the, the concept behind it. So... I've kind of sketched in a few places where the letters are not complete. And sometimes that just helps my brain to remember not to fill in the whole letter because we need to leave some spaces for the people who are gonna be walking on the outside of the letters to come and join in. Need to leave, leave some room for them. And as I'm filling this in, you'll notice that sometimes I'm just drawing a whole bunch of circles and other times I draw a little bit of shoulders. And as I get to the bottom, I try to make sure that there's some feet down there just because you would see the feet of the people in the front. This is kind of picturing looking at a group of people from perhaps the roof of a building looking down on them and watching the people gather and form something together on the ground. So that's the, the concept here. And I had done this in my sketchbook and this turned into the cover image for the, for the 40 days of prayer and all the posters and stuff that we were doing just as a, a pencil sketch. So this is the first time I've actually tried it in markers and trying to draw these little people one by one with a little bit of, of pen. And you could certainly draw them with whatever kind of thing that you want as well. So now I'm gonna add some people walking toward it. So the people walking on the outside need to look a little bit more like people so that you get the idea that they're walking toward it but not super detailed. I mean, literally, I'm just drawing the head, the little triangle for the body, and then sticking some feet on it. So they don't have to be really careful. Like you can put arms up in the air, like somebody's waving, somebody can be walking, but keep them simple when they're this tiny. The more detail you try to put in it, the more you're gonna drive yourself crazy, especially if you're drawing a lot of little people, like I'm drawing a ton of little ones. And don't worry, we're not going to go through the entire word pray at, at real-time speed. I will uh, speed through the rest of it in just a moment. But one of the things I want you to notice is as the people are walking toward the word, there's different groupings of them. Sometimes they're single people. Sometimes there's groups of people walking next to each other. I try to make tall people and short people, big heads and little heads. But generally keeping the heads of everybody around the same size even if they're taller or shorter than each other so that they all feel like they're in the same kind of uh, the same sort of space. On one of your own Bible journaling pages, you could certainly make them gather for anything. 
they can be uh, bring, bringing in the harvest. So maybe the word harvest is the word you're going to use. Pray is, of course, simpler. It's four letters, so it's a little easier to do. But you can make people gathering for anything. So think about any kind of verse that you want to depict God drawing people in, drawing a community together. And this kind of imagery works really well for that. Oh, there's my kitty sitting next to me. I don't know if you just heard him. He sounds a little more like a cow sometimes. So now I'm just going to erase those pencil lines that I had, and I decided to add some color to this. My original sketch, of course, was in black and white. It was just in pencil. But I thought, well, just for the heck of it, I'm going to add a little bit of color. And I started dotting in some color. I didn't get real careful about trying to make sure I was you know, hitting a shirt or I didn't care if it got on their faces or their feet or anything, just putting a little bit of color in there to add a little something to it. It also, if your, your word doesn't read really well, sometimes the color, I think, can help to form those letters so that they, they read a little more clearly. And as I started putting more of the color in, I thought I, I maybe was getting a little too strong with it. I wanted it a little softer. So I knew that once I finished putting in this kind of reddish color that I wanted to do something to soften the whole look of it and lighten the color just a bit. Now watercolor will always lighten on its own anyway. That's just the nature of watercolor. But I took a baby wipe and just did one solid dab on each one. I didn't mush it around so that I wouldn't end up spreading the color. But then... Uh, was able to after it dried and I ironed it just a little bit. I'm putting shadows under the people. This is going to give the people kind of dim dimension in space. And look at me, I'm just putting two little lines down. They're all at the same angle, so it's going to look like the sun is off to one side. And you can just put little, little lines here that'll indicate that they're standing outside. There's, these are actually people walking around. And then I also added speeding this up in this little section a little bit. I'm adding shadows to the left side and the uh, underside of each one of the shapes so that I'm also adding shadows to those. And that's probably overkill. You probably don't need that much. But I thought it came out really fun in my Bible and I put a little prayer at the bottom. So that is my page for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did click the like button, make sure you share it with your friends who are Bible journalers if they'd like to learn how to do this. And I will talk to you later. Links are in the description down below for things like the 40 Days of Prayer class. See you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.